Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC to do everything DIY. Today I got a service call that we got water coming down from the ceiling. Today's gonna be a little bit different. This is a plumbing service call. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Before we begin cutting down that ceiling, let's open up this access panel to see what we can see here. Oh, that looks terrible. I don't see any pipes though. This dresser looks like it's 10,000 pounds. It's extremely heavy. So that looks terrible. This is full of water. That one isn't, so whatever it is, it's something coming from here. Gotta like break open this area and see what's going on. So I would say let's let's open this, see what we can see. Use my drill, took off that nasty moldy stuff. I'm trying to make it as neat as possible. When it comes to things like that, I don't wanna, you know, create a huge nasty mess and start breathing that in. It looks like this is gonna have to go too, because I really can't see anything still at this point. So let me see if I could take some screws off, take this out as near as possible, and cut the rest out. All right, so they just turned on the water. Oh, God. Somewhere above the brick. Hold up. All right, so this is an absolute nightmare. Starting from up there, but it's above the brick. There's a vent in the way here, a duct. So I got to get in that corner. So this is gonna have to move out. I got to get somewhere back there and cut open to see if I can even get some sort of sight of that. This is so hard to move. Electrical wires here. I mean, this is this is a nightmare. We got to get back in there cut open see if i can pop out on that side and get a better look but it seems to be coming from right there all right we finally got this huge thing out of the way i mean this thing must have been a thousand pounds it's ridiculous so the idea would be to cut open this area and really i need to get in this corner wherever it's coming from it's right above there and <laughs> hope for the best Oh my. This whole thing is destroyed anyway, just let it go. So we cut this ceiling down. You can pull that piece out, brother. Right More right sheetrock. You see that same piece going in there? Pull that one. Okay. That looks like something right there. That looks rotten. Alright. Made some good progress. So here's a whole bunch of connections here. And they don't look good at all. He's about to open up the water. All right, let's see. So the pipe is coming right here. Another one right here. A couple things look like crap. Things like that right there. And we'll see what happens. He's about to open it up. So let me get out of this way. And then we can take a look at what's going on. But definitely while we're here, we should uh, get rid of all these couplings. They don't look good. And it's very hard to access. What is coming down the side of the wall? Yeah, so we're in the shower right now. There's definitely yeah. some water there. So it seems yeah. like it's having trouble coming coming down. Yeah. And at the same time, there's like cracks along the side of the wall where the water is probably overflowing here yeah. and seeping through all the it's sides. Right and this one, they're tied together. This one doesn't drain at all. Yeah, so the drains are clogged. They definitely need to be snaked out. 
and at the same time there's water seeping through all the sides here there's a bunch of cracks in the tiles here and this whole piece is missing so everything is making its way through okay so my interpretation right now is that the drains are a hundred percent clogged so that definitely needs to be snaked out there's a bunch of like curved fittings y's and elbows and i'm sure they're full of hair so and at the same time the couplings look terrible i can see some of them are cracked too so i would pull out some of the piping clear whatever's inside there snake it through do do whatever you can and when that happens rebuild everything new and at the same time you're gonna have to get somebody in here to redo the at least the grout maybe not the tiles but redo the grout when the broken tiles at least so broken tiles and grout make sure everything's waterproof and then once everything's rebuilt here you know try it again and see what happens but i wouldn't open up that water without having that all regrouted so all this stuff i would rebuild so i need access so i want to start taking some of this stuff apart and you know get as much as i can see what i need get a list of materials break some water to sheetrock and just yeah that's the plan all right everyone today is a new day and we're back so i'm going to be rebuilding this piping and clearing out the drain but one thing i noticed is how we believed it was the showers which the showers were leaking today when i just came back somebody was using the sink and again there was a bunch of water just coming through and right now we have a guy upstairs he's about to run the sink water it looks like we have another issue on our hands as far as this video we're just gonna clear this drain and rebuild it and then we have another mystery on our hands that's the leak coming from right there so it's the sinks as well unbelievable there's got to be a huge break behind the wall up there the sinks as well and the showers everything's leaking here Got a decent amount of access. Want to rebuild this rod in pieces and, and change the couplings. Man, this stuff's crusty. All right, I'm taking off this strap. gonna cut it off Oof. all right let that leak out pretty much I'm gonna rebuild this and this coming down whatever I can the only elbow I don't have is this one we can clear that out but I believe I have every other piece. While that's draining, I guess I can start rebuilding this trap. I got the trap out. These pipes are super clogged. Bunch of stuff here. This black stuff just came out of there. Let's begin to rebuild. Yep. Stuff like this is gonna clog your drain. I'm just gonna start building this up. Got the gasket, stops in the middle here. This is like this. So let's get this in there. The thing is we just want this matched up exactly the same way. I'm gonna just tighten it a little bit so I can, you know, maneuver it in the ceiling. Do a little something like that. All right, whatever I can build from outside, I will do that. Also to get some fresh air and just so it's easier. These. Oh, it looks like 
a rat. Uh, it's like a doodle. Now that's a clock drain. Yo, this thing working good. This is a good tool. Getting some more out. <sighs> Next one, I got this straight pipe open, so I would like to start that too. So I would like to change this coupling too, so I'm gonna take this little piece out, clean that little piece out. And I want to change this T right here. Let's get this piece in, get it flush, and close it down. Secured. Let's get this piece on here. Send that back together in one shot. All right, that piece is in. And then this has to go inside here. Yeah. this elbow off I got this connected that looks really good I just want to change this piece right here and then everything's going back together looks like the easiest way is to go in piece by piece this one was just hard to get to this piece in the way might be able to get it Oh, that's super clogged. Oh my God. Oh man, this one too. All right, this is gonna be rebuilt and then I wanna snake everything from the shower itself and run some water down, see if it drains and if we have any leaks. Oh my gosh. Make sure this is the exact same piece I have. Yes, it is. Let's pack it to the max. Stuff is literally coming out my hand. It's hard to pull it out. It's not exactly hair or anything. Oh gosh. <sighs> this one. And there's one last point of contact. It's right here. Gasket back. So we can line up the pipe and then we're gonna roll the gasket up. That's lined up. Make sure we're nice and straight. Okay. Got two fittings left. Here and then another little elbow. So right now, no, this is from the shower. There's water just coming down, pouring through there. Also from the concrete there, getting a bit on my piping, but my pipe work is good. 
Honestly, that's a beautiful thing right there. Everything rebuilt, new fittings. But there's a break coming from the concrete. The water does decently drain right now, but it is a bit slow. So I would snake it from the shower itself. But there's another break in the pipe somewhere. But I did snake everything out from above, but this is it. And everything here is clear. The water was draining a bit better, but the issue is that the water's coming off the sides here. So in that bathroom, the pipes run along the floor. You can even see there's a floor drain in the middle of the bathroom and there's a lift off the floor. So there's pipes going underneath the floor and the drain is connected wherever the shower drains are connected. So the sink drains and the shower drains are all connected. No matter where you run the water, there's water coming through the concrete and that is because there's a break in the floor piping somewhere. So we did make progress by clearing out whatever was here and getting rid of rod and pipe and so forth. But the real issue, it wasn't what I thought yesterday that, oh, it was just grout, you know, leaking through the sides. That was a bit excessive. The reason is because there's a break in the floor somewhere. So as far as this video, this video is gonna end here. It's gonna be the original service call. And this is our second day where we basically rebuilt this piping and try to snake out what we can, continue this job, it's gonna be another video this is already probably a long video and it was quite the experience so to be continued if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time